welcome everybody as you're joining us. Go ahead and do me a great favor. Uh, invest in somebody's life. Invest on somebody's timeline. Uh, involve them by sharing. Great morning to you. Uh, those that are in Florida, those that are in Georgia, those that are in Carolina, uh, North Carolina, South Carolina, and all over. Welcome this morning. Let me give you this uh, word this morning. I'm going to try something different today. going to give you some motion uh, graphics. Yes. So let me give you this. It's Proverbs 3, 5, and 6 as a, uh, a thought for meditating this morning. Uh, there we go. As a thought for meditating, let's go on a journey this morning. As we're on this journey, as we're in uh, a season of moving, as we're in a season of progressing, I just uh, begin to just pray, uh, you know, kind of the Lord kind of just give me scripture uh, as I wrap up the day. And, you know, I was just saying, Lord, all of my ways, I give you my ways. I give you my direction. I give you the place that I'm going uh, everywhere that you go. I've just felt the Lord saying um, there are new ways that he's taking us. There is new. There are new ways that he wants to expose us to. Some of us have been so familiar with the ways of God. And he said, my ways are not your ways. And uh, a lot of times we make plans and Proverbs three, five and six, a very familiar passage. Uh, it's very unique, very uh, clear that a lot of times the ways that God has for us are different. And so I want to give you just just a thought on this scripture. And I probably might read another version just for expounding a little bit deeper. But I want you to just know this, that this is something that you need to think you need to establish. You need to meditate on. Sometimes we become so familiar with the text or the scripture and we don't realize God. Ne I say this. God never brings us into a new season without direction, without strategy, without insight. And so I want to give you this as a thought that in everything you do, acknowledge the key word in this scripture for me was acknowledge, acknowledge. Uh, I just begin to meditate on that word, acknowledge and what acknowledge mean. And so as we see the scripture, as we hear it, uh, we know it very clearly uh, is trust in the Lord and all your uh, trust in the Lord in, uh, in all with all of your heart and acknowledge him with and all your ways. Very familiar. Everybody may know that. But I want you to look at the word acknowledge. The word acknowledge is very key because that word acknowledge uh, in the Hebrew, it means yada. You know, it means yada to acknowledge it. Very simple. Very simple. If you know. Uh, we used to sing that song, uh, yada, you know, yada, lift up your hands. And we don't, you may not remember it, but if you was in church long enough, you know, we would say yada, lift up your hands, right? And so when you, when you are yada, it is to acknowledge. And it is not just to, when we lift our hands, we aren't lifting our hands because somebody says, uh, you know, come on and lift your hands. To lift your hands is not because somebody told you to lift your hands is to acknowledge him acknowledge him and so and when we lift our hands you know it's a posture of surrender it's surrendering so to acknowledge i like to say i like this surrender to him in all your ways surrender all your ways to him so when you begin to lift your hands in this season you've got to be able to take your hands watch this this is what the holy spirit said to me we're on a journey this morning and in this journey he was saying take your hands off the wheel stop trying to control things that you have no control over. Stop trying to brand. Stop trying to be specific. Stop trying to compact them. Listen, a lot of times we don't realize the word acknowledge is to act with knowledge. I'm going to say it again. The word acknowledge really means to act with knowledge. A lot of times we act without knowledge. And so in order to come into the knowledge of, of what God really has for you in this year. That's why I said we can't get the next decade in a compressed moment. Sometimes God has to reveal and you've got to acknowledge him. Let me say this this morning, beloved. You've got to acknowledge him in all of your ways and everything that you do. You've got to see the Lord. And that word acknowledge means to yada, means to release. It also means, watch this, this is good. Yada, it means very clearly to confess, right? To acknowledge is to confess. And so I want you to get this thought uh, in your thinking this morning is very clear um, because when we look at that, it is also to confess, but it is also is to become known. 
And so the greatest way for you to become known is to acknowledge him. And a lot of times we forget that we're made in his image. And so when you come into the revelation of knowing him, acknowledging him, those that know their God, acknowledge their God, they begin to look more like him. I want to help you in this season, right? I want to help you in this hour. Let me come off, come off, come off of our journey. I want to help you in this hour because in this season that we're in, when you begin to acknowledge him, there is something that takes place. There is something that takes place and a shifting takes place. And that word acknowledge, I'm going to give you the three C's of acknowledging him for this year. If you're going to continually acknowledge him in all of your ways, very simple. You've got to know that you've got to release Take your hand off the wheel. You got to say, Father, I just give it to you. Father, I just establish you. I give you this marriage. I give you my job. See, some of us are, we've got so many courses. We've got so many downloads. We've got so many YouTube videos. But I'm going to tell you this. The mysteries of God have not been tapped in. I'm going to go prophetic on you in a moment. We haven't even begun to see and understand what God is doing in this hour. And so when we begin to acknowledge him, there are three. Let me give you the three C's this morning for acknowledging him in this decade in 2020. See, to acknowledge God is not to just say, Lord, I love you or, or hallelujah. We know hallelujah is the highest praise. But when you begin to acknowledge him, the, I'm going to give you the three C's. Number one, you've got to confess. I, I can't get this any better. This is why we begin consecration at the beginning of the year. It is begin. It is a season of confessing. Confessing your sins, confessing your fault, confessing who he is. See, that's why declarations are important. Declaring a thing, declaring uh, your your year, declaring the more declarations you write. Look, it's a powerful thing to download or to buy books of declarations. But what are you confessing? See, I begin to confess some things first, not over not over the branch, not over uh, my business, not over my properties, not over my money, but over my family. Over my children. Your house is important. What are you confessing over your house? This is something. You know, you want to begin to see God move. Begin to confess some things over your children. Begin to speak it over your house, over your marriage, over if, if you're not married. Begin to confess over your home, over who you are, over your family, over your son. This is very important. The Lord said this to me. He said, people don't realize the best fruit for 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 a year the first fruit of a year is your confession confessing your sin oh my gosh and confessing your faith confessing your sin and confessing your faith see when you begin to seed your year you seed your year with your words mm -hmm. i'm gonna what you confess is what you will see manifest Right. And so it's very important every day. Use the beginning of this month. Use the beginning of your day confessing it. Right. Uh, after I brush that that grill, after I begin to freshen up, then I begin to confess. God, you're the God of this day. You you put divine protection around my family. See, begin to declare, begin to confess. Write your confessions down. Lord, I confess by his stripes. I'm healed. Don't wait for a doctor's report. Don't wait for a negative report. Don't wait for bad news. God, I confess no negative news will come near my dwelling. I confess that our, our that our family will live and not die. See, when you begin to confess, you not only confess what you want, you confess what you believe. You not only confess what you believe, but you confess what you've received in the spirit. See, don't just begin to say, you know, uh, um, by his stripes, I'm healed. But begin to, begin to confess. Cancer can't come near my dwelling. Cancer won't occupy my body. I just feel like confessing some things. See, when you do this thing every day, it's normal. And so I want you to get in that habit. Create a habit. This is a everybody got a challenge. <laughs> I mean, Malene, I thank you on this morning. Everybody got a challenge, right? <laughs> so this is a 30 day challenge, man. Confess something different. Speak some extract from your environment words that you've confessed. See, there are some things. There's a place. There's a secret place that I make confessions unto the Lord. It's a secret place. It's where, you know, where I go to the Lord and I say, God, this is where I'm confessing who I am. I confess my sin and I confess what I believe. Confess it. Somebody say, I'm going to learn how to confess it. When you begin to acknowledge him, right, you begin to acknowledge him through the power of confession. 
Number right, the second C. Good morning, good morning, Shell. Good. Uh, the second confession. So to acknowledge is to confess. The second confession is to certify. To certify. I want to stay. I want to stay right here for a moment because um, the time go by so fast. <laughs> to certify. In order to certify, how many of you know there is a process? You can't receive a certificate, a degree. Or anything, any course that you've completed, it certifies you. In order for you to see some things that God wants to release in your life, you've got to begin to cert. In other, in other words, you've got to get it in the place of equipping. You've got to get in the place of training. Uh, there's a certain level of warfare that you've got to know how to operate in. And so you've got to step over into places that will certify you. You can't wait for things to come, right? A, a master's degree doesn't come to you by just attending high school. Now, we got these honorary, honorary degrees, right? These degrees that people just give you. But I'm, I, want, I, I want you to get this because the Lord really said, I want to certify my people. I want to make you skilled. <laughs> I want to train you. I want to equip you. And sometimes you don't realize this is really why God gives us fivefold giftings for the equipping of the saints. And this is important. You've got to find yourself in a fivefold mandate. You've got to find yourself in a fivefold posture to be certified. See, there are some place, there are some doors you, you can walk through, but you won't walk through them unless you've been certified. See, I don't want anybody, I don't want anybody representing me in court if you haven't been trained, if you haven't been equipped. And so this is the hour that the Lord is really saying, study to show yourself approved. Mm -hmm. Certify. If you're going to acknowledge the Lord, if he is Lord, then get equipped for where he's taking you. Right. You got to understand this. See, just going to church is not enough. You've got to study. You've got to equip yourself, certify yourself. Let me ask you this. What is it that you have prepared yourself for? Uh, whether it's owning property, whether it's investing. I mean, you can't you can't just get everything on YouTube cannot certify you. Most people that are on YouTube, they have what they call a master class in the master class. Is 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 it costs and it, it it is broken up into sections or into segments or into modules to certify you. But how many of you know this? You don't get a master's class for free. You don't attend a master's class. Nobody is not going to give you certified information without <laughs> a donation. I'm going to just let you know right there. So you've got to know this to be certified. It's going to cost you something. What price are you willing to pay? This is let me give you an example. How are you certified in the spirit through fasting and prayer? I'm going to just let that one stay right there. There are some things that certifies you to cast the devil out. He said these things only come by prayer and fasting. Uh, what is it that you're trying to break off of somebody? What is it trying you're trying to break through? So we begin the year. By, by prayer and fasting. Why? Because it certifies us. Seven days, 21 days, 40 days, whatever it is. See, you don't understand it. It certifies you in the spirit as qualified to do what God has anointed you to do. That's why he said, Paul, I know, Jermaine, I know, but who are you? Uh, see, sometimes you got to be certified for a level of deliverance. I feel like going in a little bit longer. Catherine, I feel like going in. Watch this. Um, Number three, right? The third seat. So the first one, you got to confess. The second one, you've got to be certified and let the Lord certify you in the spirit. Man can give you a certification through a class, but go through, go, go to the master's class. The master's class is on the potter's wheel. I'm going too far this morning. I said the master's class is on the potter's wheel. You see, the potter puts a lump of clay. Your life may be a little lumpy, but how many of you know? The longer you're on the wheel, he smooths you. He works some things out. He shapes you. And so he certifies you as being a vessel of honor. I don't want to go too long in this revelation. So to be certified, you've been proven and tested by fire. Uh -huh. We don't like this. That, that can go by so many people. You want to be certified, but do you want to be proven and tested by fire? See, there are vessels of honor and there are vessels of dishonor. And to be certified for what God wants to give you, you've got to get on the potter's wheel. You got to let him mold you. You got to learn how you got to know how to shape. Come on. Sometimes 
The potter can't finish the shape until you are in the environment for the shaping. So some of us, you until you get up on that, what God wants to release you, then he's going to finalize you and shape you. He's alpha and omega. So the certification is already begun, but you've got to get processed. You've got to get shaped. You've got to remove the lumps. Some of us need a little bit more water. Uh huh. You've been getting dry. All right. The last one, and I'm going to get on out of here out of your way, right? Third, you've got to celebrate. I really believe this. Like you celebrated that countdown for 2020, the Lord says, why is it that my people, he says, my people only celebrate a last hour. <laughs> you got to understand this. Every hour that we live, he said, live it like it's the last hour. In other words, celebrate the Lord today. Because he's the same yesterday, today, and forever. Celebrate who you are in the will of God. A lot of times we only celebrate people once they've accomplished. But we don't celebrate people when they've begun. Ah, oh my gosh. Celebrate. You don't understand? It's like a child graduating from high school. We celebrate them. But when you celebrate the new journey, you celebrate the process of college and beyond. Begin to celebrate. Watch this. When you celebrate who you are, it's not about where you are right now, but it's about where he has or has ordained you to go. And so when you know how to celebrate the Lord, you celebrate the Lord with your finances. You see, this is the power of first fruit. You begin to celebrate where he's taking you. You begin to celebrate where you are going. When you go into a realm, into a dimension, into a place, you celebrate uh, your end as well as your beginning. I've got to get out of here. And so to acknowledge is to number one, confess to acknowledge is to certify and to acknowledge is to celebrate. Let me give you these three C's, these three C's for acknowledging the Lord in 2020 and beyond. It's very important that you always celebrate. Let me tell you this. You don't only celebrate you, but you celebrate others. Right. Not just for birthdays, not just for Mother's Day, not just for Father's Day. See, the word celebrate is also it, it means to honor. And so that may be leading us into another theme or focus. But learning how to honor, learning how to honor others, learning how to honor uh, those whom honor is due. All right. So I'm going to wrap this up this morning. I pray that you've been blessed uh, by this word of acknowledging the Lord, confessing. Uh, and celebrating and matter of, fact, matter of fact, confessing, certifying and celebrating. And so let the Lord uh, just give you whatever this word may be for you in your house. But let me pray for you as we get on out of here. I thank God for uh, you again this morning that are tuning in with us live. And if you're watching this video and you've been blessed and you're watching the replay, just put a hashtag replay. And I thank God for all of the great comments. Father, we thank you this morning. I bless you. For those that are tuning in, those that are watching, Lord, I thank you, Father God. Bless you, Gary. I pray right now that as they tune in and as they watch and know it, as we have shared this word, let this word take root in good ground. Let this word manifest in the hearts of men, women, and families. Father, I thank you, Father, that this word will begin to stretch. It will begin to expand and it will, be, it will cause a maturing in the hearts of of your people. And so, Lord, we thank you this morning. We bless you. And in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen and amen. Father, we bless this day. As always, we declare that your giants are defeated, your Red Seas are open, and your Jericho walls are coming down. Welcome again into 2020. Happy New Year, everybody. We appreciate you. If you've been blessed by this broadcast, the greatest thing that you can do, the greatest seed that you can sow is investing it in someone else's life. So go ahead, uh, become a shareholder. I think we're about 40 people away, maybe less than 40, maybe 40, 45 people away from 1,500. So let's cross that 1,500 mark um, this week, this month, whenever. Uh, you know, I've gotten away from trying to pursue numbers because I thank God for those that we have the opportunity to reach. All right. Have a blessed, wonderful day, family. This is your revelation moment, and we look forward to connecting with you soon. All right. Have a wonderful, uh, blessed, safe Friday. All right. Shalom. Shalom.